Hey everybody, welcome back uh, to another video. This video we're actually going to get into a little bit of the uh, rear suspension. So like a lot of the other components, I actually got this uh, used and it had a lot of buildup and rust and uh, other other things that I just didn't want to deal with. So this time I actually went and uh, grit blasted them. So with the blasting cabinet, uh, blasted the, the surfaces so it got all free from the rust and debris and uh, all ready for paint. So it kind of got down to the bare metal, cleaned them up, put some uh, black metal paint on, and I think it looks pretty good. So from there, I uh, assembled them up to the rear suspension components, and um, that was kind of the first step. So these are the uh, suspension forks for the rear of the car. So they got them used like so, so there's just a lot of buildup, but um, just using blasting cabinet, uh, remove all the rust and debris from it. Here is the finished product, kind of all rust free and painted. So here's the, the rear suspension. It's got three bolts up here. So I cleaned off, if you recall, I cleaned off this cap here and then these ones that I just cleaned off here, they go in here with one of those screws. You have to find out how to mount this with the Tesla drivetrain, so that's rear suspension. Okay, third time's the charm. This is the uh, Willward brake pedal. Um, I kind of sized it up with the other. It actually has pretty much the same uh, distance from here to here. It's just this distance from on the old pedal was here and now it's up here. So you get a much better mechanical advantage. And we'll go ahead and uh, put the tandem uh, master cylinder there and see how it all mounts up. Okay, here's the three brake pedals and my plan. So this was the first one. As you recall, as this one came down, it actually jogs a little to the right, so it's kind of right in line with the um, with the steering column. So we got this one, and this one jogs to the right, and that one works well, but uh, essentially the, let me take this off, the ratio, so basically the overall ratio from there to there, and from here to here is about four point, three or something like that and so that wasn't good enough for our brake master cylinder so got this one um, and this one's got a much shorter distance here so it's got a better essentially a better ratio than this pedal however in kind of looking at this one um, it can't mount in the same place on the frame because it kind of goes straight down so it's a little more like this one where it will be kind of in the way of the steering column. So here's my next thought. Is there a reason why I can't just drill another hole here closer? Um, I'm thinking that's what I'm going to try. The other thing is um, how this mounts. See, he's got kind of these four holes and what I found, oh well, you can't see it here. I'll have to show you. Hold on one second. So this uh, the adapter plate here and the holes actually um, line up there we go so essentially the holes can't quite do it all one-handed but the holes line up so um, I'm thinking if I just shift up the whole pedal by about half that distance about an inch and a half um, and then I drill this hole up an inch and a half it'll be much closer to this and the pedal pedal will be out of the way so that's the plan we'll see how it works All right, there's the new hole. Um, I measured everything out and um, we should actually have the exact same pedal ratio as this one. So uh, we will go ahead and um, assemble it to here, uh, put it in the car, make sure we have clearance, uh, hook up the 
Willwood, Willwood master cylinder and uh, make sure that everything seems functional, but we're hopeful. Okay, so the brake booster, um, to be in line, this is kind of the mounting point. It's going to mount the uh, same position as that. So that should not be a problem. The brake booster will have to kind of sit in the middle of the holes, not the low one or the high one, because it sits pretty close to the uh, shock absorber there. So we'll go ahead and drill some new holes in the frame to mount it in the middle, and the pedal will be about an inch lower to the floor um, if everything works okay. So instead of fitting here, it'll just fit about like that. Um, we, it's a little closer down there, but looks like it's okay. And it is well off. All right, so these are the uh, new holes on this side. And we'll mount up the pedal and see how it looks. It's a little dark on this side, but anyway, that's uh, just showing you those new holes. And uh, we'll go ahead and mount the master cylinder on this side and look at the other side. Here's the brake pedal mounted. Um, there's a little too much space. Um, well, meaning that uh, I need a plate here. I need, I need uh, something to uh, bring this out a little bit. So the connecting rod that goes to the brake pedal is about all the way out and so it's still got some gap. So I'm gonna get a little probably aluminum quarter inch aluminum plate or something to uh, fill that gap. But just wanted to show you kind of how this looks so if this is all the way kind of up and tight <clears throat> um, and then we push on the brake pedal I think it'll work okay. So um, this is what the other side looks like. Can't really see it very well, but there you go. Okay, that does it for this episode. Um, this is all in preparation for next week. So next week, the Tesla motor should come. So we'll have kind of a um, an unboxing. We'll clean it up. We'll see what we need to do. But um, I'm really excited to see this thing get moving. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Please uh, subscribe and share.